We're going to have to do it this way. You're alive. Okay, hey, you're alive. friends. Welcome to my channel. My name's Joanne Barandi. I am a happy crafter. I love to craft and share ideas with everyone. Friends, thanks for being here with me today. Bienvenidos todos, amiguitos, a mi canal de YouTube. Estoy muy agradecida que están aquí conmigo. Friends, I'm so happy that you're here. Plus, I'm so happy I'm here. Uh, my Janita and I got a COVID, I mean, uh, a flu shot. Uh, and we were feeling very wonky this morning. And I'm not kidding you, about 3 o'clock, I got in bed and covered up with a blanket because I was feeling so sick. So I'm happy to be here. Um, I recovered and my Janito's kind of recovering too, but um, we're just glad to be here. I, I I've feel never, great. I've never, <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel, Janito? Uh, I feel great. He feels yeah. great. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do. I really do. Uh, yeah, we felt very wonky this morning. Let me tell you, it was crazy. Uh, I never go back into bed. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm here and I'm glad to be here with you. And thanks for being here, everyone. I saw so many names mm -hmm. pop up. You early birds, all your names are going to go in for drawing for some of these little finished Santa ornaments next time okay um, I did get everybody's name down friends let's get started because I want to be able to go outside before it gets dark uh, to show you remember we made these on Tuesday they were dry I went ahead and spray painted them I'm gonna show you in a little bit how I spray paint them and uh, just give them a coat in front and in back and then they're ready to paint because the ones that I did with the uh, the tea, the colored, uh, I mean, the, the tea that uh, dyed the water that I used the last time, see, they come out like this. And I just, uh, sometimes I'm just not happy with that. I think that's too dark. So I just happened to get too much, the tea too dark that for the water that I used, if that makes any sense. All right. So I'm going to get started with, I'm going to paint this right quick to show you how easy these are to paint. So I want to go outside and show you how I seal them. And I'm going to start off with the white of the beard right here. I was hoping to have several of these uh, to paint, ready to paint and detail. But like I said, gosh. I was just glad that I was feeling better by four o'clock and um, so I didn't get everything done but I am going to show you the main thing I want to show you which is how I seal these and we're having trouble with our cam with my phone camera uh, we're trying we tried to work with it I know that it was blurry last time and some of y'all pointed that out to us, and we just we're trying to fix that. Uh, and now, change the settings on it. Yes, and now my Hanito has trouble with it, and it's like this instead of this. <laughs> Got a mind of his own today. He's <laughs> uh, just started doing that recently. Yes. So. That's, I think the. Uh, Spooky baby, creepy baby got a hold of it. Oh Lord, here we go again, creepy baby. All right, see, it doesn't have to be perfect, friends. Don't, don't stress. And I know a lot of y'all uh, are wishing y'all had this access to this um, cookie cutter. I'm telling you, you can get on eBay, and I think it's still available. I don't have the link for it at the moment, but I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, okay, there's the white on there, and now I'm going to do the, the face, which is the peach color, apple barrel. Let me take a look at it. Peach, yes. there it is. Hanito, is it blurry? Looks good. Sometimes my Hanito's just so close. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking that was it, but no, that wasn't it. I'm all over the place. That he is. <laughs> Elizabeth says, creepy baby needs a timeout. 
Oh, uh, again, so does my honito. And baby wants me to look closer to the ornament. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, friends, it doesn't have to be perfect because yes. your detail is what's going to make it. Yes, two gals want to get closer. Sandra said it's clear. Oh, good, <clears throat> good. Got people from all over the country looking for me. Hey, friends! I saw I saw so many of you. Canada, Puerto Rico. Oh, hi, friends from Canada and Puerto Rico. Indiana, I'm so happy you're West here. Virginia. Oh, good. I'm so happy y'all are here. Friends, I was so afraid I was going to have to cancel out on y'all. I was almost crying. All right, so there you go on that. <laughs> and now I'm going to use the lime tree for the gloves. But you can use any color you want. And friends, what I want to tell you is that... Um, you can use any Santa cookie cutter. My friend Carmen, I have a friend named Carmen, and she sent me a picture of the ones she cut out and has ready to paint. And she did an excellent job on hers. I was so proud of her, but she had like a, a traditional Santa one. I know I've seen that cookie cutter before. Uh, I think I even have one. But you use a basic technique that I'm using and to detail it and you will get a nice finished product. You cannot go wrong. I just like these lime, this lime green for the gloves. But you never know, I, I, I switch different colors all the time, dark, light. That's a cute green. That is a pretty green. And it's a... It is called lime tree. Lime tree. Apple barrel. I'm trying to use apple barrel. I was going to use the flag red, but I happen to have some of this Americana uh, true red, and I like that for the Santa, so Santa suit. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. But flag red apple barrel, crafting on a budget works just great. You even have a crafter lady from Honolulu, Hawaii. Hey, friend, is it Danielle? No, it's Monica Johnson. Hi. Monica Johnson. I'm so glad you're here, sweet friend. Do you know her? No, but she's welcome. Welcome, sweet friend. Oh, goodness, I got some red in the white. Okay, I just want to show you how fast this goes. Oh, this is a pretty red. I like this. Kathy Warren is a new one from California. Hi, Kathy. My first life. Friends, welcome our newbies. Kathy I'm so Warren. Yeah. Kathy Warren. Thank you for being here, sweet friend. Trinidad and Tobago. Who was that? Trinidad and Tobago. I think I'm saying it right. <laughs> <laughs> friend, if he's not, I apologize for him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I butchered it. I think. My honey, though, he tries. I got to yeah. give him an A for effort. Their first life. Thank you, sweet friend. Appreciate all of y'all for being here. And I'll be doing some more of this uh, ornament painting and stuff. I know I'm going to make this a quick one because I want to show you um, how I seal them, and I need to do that outside because of the. It's, it's not very, I mean, the fumes are not that bad, but... You want to do it outside. You don't want to do it inside. Yeah, because it tends to have a little odor. I know that there's some that doesn't have any odor at all, but I'm so used to using the regular one that I, I always use, the epoxy resin, and uh, it does tend to have a little odor. And I was so afraid I was not going to find any because I had to go all over town yesterday uh, to find it. It's, it's right here. It's this box right here. This is what I use to seal my ornaments with. And you found it at Hobby Lobby? 
No, Hobby Lobby didn't. Hobby Lobby has some others Home that Depot? they're using. No. Where you get your lipstick? No, I don't get my lipstick at Home Depot, silly. Uh, I got this. I found it at, was it Michael's that I found it at? Yes, Michael's. Thank you. Michael's, yes. Um, because I like this particular brand. And this was the last box, too, and it was uh, $14.99, I believe. It's gone up in price because when I first started buying it uh, many, many, many years ago, it was only like eight ninety nine. dollars That's crazy. So it's almost went up 50%. But of course, that was like 40 years ago. Oh, good God. That Maybe. Going up. Yeah. So now I'm going to paint his boots. And I, you can go all around... Um, the sides and all that depends on how how much work you want to put into it but i don't and i still think i get a good finished product so um normally i do like 20 or 25 of these at one time of the same pattern and i do it in like an assembly line fashion cheryl thomas says she looks back at all your videos and makes everything you make hi cheryl thank you friend that's a lot you make my heart happy. You and Candace. Candace, so, I just I just love, love to see Candace immediately make remake something and put her own twist on it. And it's so funny because at first she said she didn't really decorate for Halloween. And I bet this year she is. <laughs> She's decorating. All right, so I've got that all just one coat you can give it one coat or you can give it two it depends because um sometimes the salt dough like this one i don't think it needs a second coat on anything it took real well but there's a lot of times that it's kind of porous and um Judy, you do need to give Judy's it a asking where you get your pour on i got this at I found it at michael's uh used to i could get it at hobby lobby i could even get it at walmart but uh, not yesterday. Yesterday, um, Michael's, and they only had this one box I left. I think it's getting restricted, I think. No. <laughs> don't, listen, don't listen to my Anito. Uh -huh. Anito, don't, don't be saying things. You can't find hey, it anywhere. Up. Up. Don't be saying things that don't make it's sense. It's hard to find. <laughs> okay. It? I have one here that's ready. Ooh, look. I must have used a different red for this. Jessica says, you look marvelous. Aw, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Friends, I just love y'all. Y'all just make my day. Um, okay, so I'm going to set this aside, and I already have one ready to detail. So let's get after that so I can show you how easy it is to uh, detail these. And this one's kind of wonky because this is one of those that I left out in the sun too long. And uh, But you know what? When you put them on the tree, they look great. Yep. It doesn't matter. I don't stress over things like that anymore. Um, it'll be all right. That's my motto, and it'll be all right. Now, where are my? Okay, so. You use kind of spray on your glitter project so it doesn't fall off. What do you use? I seal them with this, and I'm going to show you in a minute. You know what I didn't do? Um, but it'll be all right. That's okay. I'll go ahead, and I'm going to start with the white. Let me, and I hope this doesn't spit on me, like, <laughs> I'm just going to start and make his little, pom pom for the hat, straight out of the bottle, nothing to it. Piece of cake, a can of corn. Hanito. Easy for you. <laughs> Don't say that. Helena said it'll be all right. Y'all. Yeah. Ay, my Hanito, Elenita. Yeah. What are we going to do about him? Okay, so right here is, you can take any shape that you want to make the design on his hat. This is what I chose to do. Just go up and down like zigzag. I can do them all different ways. 
All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and glitter that. And I'm going to use my fancy little glitter dish that my friend Danita gave me. Danita. Yes. And the reason I'm doing this now is because I don't want it to get on the eyes in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and put his eyes on. So I'm going to detail his cheeks right quick. Kathy's asking how do you mix your spackle? My spackle? I'm not using spackle on this. It's dough. Huh? It's your dough. Oh, my dough? Well, she says how do you mix your spackle? We're not using spackle. I'm not using spackle, sweet friend. Uh, what are you? Probably, I don't know, asking about the dough maybe, but we're using dough here. Okay, so I'm just dry brushing some cheeks on. I like to go a little heavy on them. It's got rosy cheeks. And then the little mouth part right here. Remember, you can do this on any Santa. It doesn't have to be, it can be. Okay, so now I'm going to do the eyes right quick. And this is all straight out of the bottle. I mean, you can't go wrong unless it burps on you there. I hope not. Please don't. And sometimes my eyes are not perfect, but like I said, it doesn't matter in the long run. It just all looks so good. Madeline Perry says, hi, Joanna and Johnito. <laughs> <laughs> hi, close. Madeline. I think it's Janito with an H. I saw that Ivy was here, Sally Esquivel, and my friend Kenneth was here. Who else was here? Elenita, Sandra Crosby, Sandra Buckley. Hi, friends. I just, uh, I'm so appreciative. Pam's Fake Bakes and Cowgirl Crafts was here. Jamie, yep. I appreciate all of y'all. Those, those of you that were early birds, before I started, I took everybody's name down. And I've got the list, and I will give out, I don't know how many of these I'll have tonight, but I'll do drawing for some. Y'all never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, Elsa said, Elsa Hernandez says she loves everything you do. Hola, Elsa. Como estas, amiguita? Okay, so I'm going to give him some. Um, Paula Gordon, first time, first live. Hi, Paula. Thanks for being here, friend. Welcome. Is that puff paint? No, it is a uh, fabric paint. Fabric tulip, paint. tulip slick. You can use puff paint if you want. And I'm just going to make some. Are you getting this, honeyto? No, everybody is welcoming Paula. Oh, Paula, you are amongst the nicest craft family here on this channel. I love my craft family. And I appreciate you being here, friend. All right, so on this, I just, you can take any design. You, I mean, you can do this any way you want. I just, I just kind of go a little crazy with it. Debbie wants me to move the camera. Is that my Debbie Williams? No, Deb Debbie Harper. Oh, hi, Debbie Harper. It's so easy to uh, maneuver this bottle and make the design that you want. For you? No, I mean, it just takes a little practice, but anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. Let's see. Oh, did we put my phone on silent? Yes. Thank you. Now, even though you don't have this 
cookie cutter if you don't have it don't worry just get you a Santa one and do the same thing detail it just like this it'll look so pretty friends and the good thing about this is you can do it with your kids your grandkids and you can make some of these and you're making memories at the same time and I think that that's just so special Madeline Perry is asking you're saying that I love that you speak Spanish when you make videos. Are you Hispanic or did you just learn Spanish? What do you think, friend? <laughs> Keep them guessing. I learned to speak Spanish. My abuelita showed me how grandma. to. Grandma. My grandma showed me how to speak Spanish. Um, we used to listen to her Mexican uh, soap operas on the radio when I was a little girl, and I stayed with her. All the time. Yeah, when my mom was at work. So, yes. And, you know, I love to speak Spanish and, and uh, everything. I mean, it, I, I wish I would have taught my kids how to speak Spanish. I think it's so um, important to be bilingual, if at all possible. Oh, look, see how it's coming to life with just so little, just so little, it comes to life. I just, I love making these ornaments. And like I said, I've been making them for a very, very long time. When I was a stay-at-home mom and I wanted to give teacher gifts and I wanted to give my kids' uh, classmates a little keepsake and stuff. And we didn't have a bunch of money at one time. Well, not that we do now, but at one time, you know, we really lived on a budget. And um, I don't know, this idea with this friend that showed me how to do this fell into my hands and um, I have been able to gift these to students, friends, and family. And I'm so thankful that that one <clears throat> educator shared this idea, her idea with me. Sandra said her kids learn Spanish so they could talk about her. so funny. <laughs> Sandra Crosby. Oh, that's so funny. So what has everybody been up to? Are y'all crafting? Are y'all, what are y'all doing? Are you shopping? Are you making Christmas gifts? I know some people tell me that it was too early for them to do Christmas, but all right. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use just this, this, the plain glitter on this part of the beard. Crafting with Amy. Indy says she is hey. editing a video for tomorrow. Hey, sweet friend. Mm. How are you? And Bonnie is decorating for Halloween. Oh, nice. Nice. I need to finish my, I need, not, what do I mean finish? I need to start my, my front door. <laughs> And Karen is making her mini cinnamon buns. Oh, sweet. Um, I'm using the... already. The, <laughs> you can taste them, too. Yeah. <laughs> My Janito has the biggest sweet tooth. Yeah. Okay, so I'm using the chunky glitter for this part right here. But also, now that we have so many little... Um, uh, what do you... Um, the little confetti stuff, sprinkles... You can decorate it with sprinkles. I'm not going to take the time to do that right now, but I did do one. I'll show it to you. Um, there's The possibilities are endless. And you can put the little lollipop in his hand. Oh, my goodness. You can put a little star, a little present, whatever. I like this chunky just go on the bottom here. Okay, this did not take long at all. And when you're doing more than one at one time, it just even, it even goes faster. That's pretty good. I know. I'm trying to not touch the 
shake off the glitter there a little bit. See how pretty and easy that is, friends? Right out of the bottle, acrylic paints. This is, I mean, this is a very inexpensive uh, ornament to make, I think, you know, because you can make a ton out of the flour and the salt. It goes a long way. And you using your paints, especially if you're making one pattern for gifts and whatever, it doesn't take very many paints, you know, and you can get them for still 58 cents at Walmart. So if you're a crafter on a budget, I suggest that um, you make, you know, craft on a budget. You don't have to have expensive paints, expensive. The only thing that you do spend money on is the slick. But you can get the smaller bottles if you don't uh, want these big bottles. And sometimes you can find them on sale. Sometimes the Dollar Tree has them for $1.25. All right, so now I'm going to show you. Here's, I've got this one finished. And I did put the sprinkles. See how cute that looks? Cute. This one's dry already. Let's go outside and I'm going to show you how I seal them. First of all, uh, another thing I was going to tell you. I buy these ornament hooks. Did you make those? Honey, though you're distracted. Oh. <laughs> oh, you made those the other day. No, I made these. I made these last year when Eric was gone, and that's why I didn't have a tutorial video on there on mm -hmm. these. But, but I will maybe this year if you want me to. If y'all want to make those, I can share that with y'all. Cute. They are cute, aren't they? I had forgotten all about them. All right, friends. Um. What was I going to tell you? Whew, lost my train of thought. These ornament hooks, I love them. I love, I just love the way they hang on the tree and the way they look. I, but you can use uh, ribbon. You can use anything. You can even put your little hole in there and put, put your um, ribbon. But what I was going to show you is I used to do this with the, the ornament hook. I used to cut it and then slip it in there. But look. It turns rusty, and look what it does. So I don't do that anymore. I use these. All right, let's go outside, and let's. I'm going to show you how I spray paint these. And also, let me take the one that's finished, this one. All right. One trip. Don't get my good side. <laughs> <laughs> don't trip. You better not get my good side over here. Uh, anyway, let's go outside. And you'll have to excuse my patio. My plants have kind of taken over. Is the light on? Okay. Whew. It's getting dark, though. Ooh, it is. We need to do this before it gets dark. I hope that there's enough light. Okay, friends, let me show you how I just, this is, these are the, or, this is what I do to the ornaments when I spray paint them. And I've got the, the uh, almond colored spray paint. I just give them, I start by turning them over like this. And usually I have them on a big piece of cardboard, a long piece, and I have them do it all at one time. Just give them a real good light coat in back. And then I turn them over Getting this, Juanito? Yeah, I'm getting it. All righty. So you don't want to paint these inside? No, no, I do. I usually do this outside. So, friends, that's all it. All I do to them, and then when they give them about 15, 20 minutes to dry really good, and then I start painting on them. So, that's that. Let's get this out of the way. Our neighbors are playing out there. All right, now, let me. Okay, let's see, Anito. I thought you were going to get over there. I can. Yeah, because I need to. I think the little grandkids are playing out there. The neighbor's grandkids. The neighbor's grandkids are Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I also uh, seal the, the coaster tiles. Is there another one? Yeah, here's another one. Kathy says you can use 
paper clips because they're stainless steel, they won't rust. Oh, good idea. Yeah, good, good idea. Good idea. The paper clips are stainless steel, so they shouldn't. Can you rust. can you see this? Or are you too far? I'm too far. I get closer. You can move this chair out of the way, or stand next to me. Oh, I forgot the Envirotex. Hold on just a second. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I got the fan on already. Okay, well, right. you, you got the fan on. Yes, it'll be all right. Or maybe not. The yeah. reason I have this bag here is because I throw everything away in the bag afterwards. We might have to turn it off. No, you're all right. Are you sure? Okay, and you have to get equal parts of this mixed up. Uh, la, la. I have a piece of cardboard that is covered in wax paper. You have to have wax paper, friends. And uh, let me see. I use this, a clear cup like this. Let me see if I can put this. It's hot out here. That's why we have the ceiling fan on. No. Huh? It's not hot. It just blows the fumes away. Well, it's it's hot. Maybe I. <laughs> maybe my fever broke from that. <laughs> Sherry from Hesperia, California. Okay, and you can use. They sell these in a package at Dollar Tree. I don't know how many come in a package, but you can use those. Or if you have these little measuring cups, I usually save them from the medicine bottles, uh, and you can use those as well. But you've got to mix it equally. You have you have your part one and your part your part A and your part B. You have somebody from Brazil say, "I love your art." Oh, thank you, friends. Thank you, friends from Brazil. Tatico Globo Rosa. Goodness, you know. Hi, these bottles never... You have somebody from Catula, Texas. From Catula, Texas? I know where that's at. I already... I, t I think I talked to her before and told her. It's My broken. daddy used to work over there. Oh, friends, I'm sorry. I didn't realize now they have this... seal on them. Okay. You got to make sure that you get equal parts. And you got to make sure that you have your gloves on because you don't want to do this without gloves. See, I can smell it already. Can you? Nope. Yeah. No. Smell it know. a little bit. Oh, let me take my rings off so I can. All right. Let's and get it. Linda go. Omler, first time from Arizona. Hi, Linda. Thank you for being here, friend. Yes. Hello, Linda. We are fixing to seal these ornaments. And okay, I'm going to seal them today. And when we come live next week, I'm going to leave them just as you see them finished. And I'll show you how, I, I, how easy they lift off with that um, using the wax paper on the bottom. Boy, these are hard to get on today. All right. Part A. Let's go with that. Part A. And I really don't need all of this, but I'm going to try and get it. So you put how much in there? Almost full? Almost full, but not quite. Because I've got some other things inside after we film that I'm going to run in and, and get. And it has to be equal, because if it's not, friends, you'll get a product that's sticky. And it won't be runt, but you'll have to redo it all over again. How many ounces do you think it is? I don't know. Just if you if you have a big batch, just fill it all the way to the top. Let's see, does that look even? I don't know, you're asking the cameraman here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty even. Close enough. Yep. Because like I said, uh, you don't ruin them either way. But you do want to get as close to Yeah, get as close as you can. Yeah. All right, and what I do is was that A and B? Used to, they looked different. Wow, they're both 
Used to one looked uh, a little bit of color yellow tint Making to Making shots. It. Yeah, shot drinks. And I drip dry. Patty Ballone, first time from Georgia. Hi, friend. Hey, Patty. Thanks for being here. I am sealing some Christmas ornaments with epoxy resin. You try to scoop everything you can out of these little cups. Okay. I think that's good enough. And the reason I have this bag here is because I throw everything in there. All right, then you mix it up. I usually I count to 60. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> One minute. <laughs> One minute. 10 seconds. Keep counting. Okay, I'll tell you that. Twenty seconds. You're good, honey. Though I'm looking at the phone. Oh. And you just keep. Be sure and scrape the sides. Thirty. Forty. Forty-five. Fifty. Ten more seconds. All righty, let's get going here. Okay, that's about a minute. I'm going to go a little bit more. And you know, it's all, it looks bubbly and all that, but don't let that scare you. That's the way mine always looks. Some people say they don't like the bubbles in it, but I even have sometimes little bubbles that come out and just go up in the air. Miss Nev said you throw your containers away. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, you can't reuse them. No, mm -mm. I, I don't. No. Not worth using them. Okay, even though it says it's pour on, this is how I, it, this is what works for me. Oh, and see on this one, I add, on this one, I added a little candy cane and a little uh, doodad up there, a little holly berry. Okay, so I stick my fingers in here Ooh. and I just dab You're it. Having good gloves. Yes. Maria from Mexico. Hola Maria. Hola, Hola Maria. Maria. Hello Maria. Elenita, did you remind everybody to like, comment, and share? She did. And let me know what you think of this. Will you be making some of these? Now you don't have to seal them with this stuff. You can spray them, or you can use triple thick and whatever. It just doesn't give it that shiny, shiny effect like this does. This makes it gives it that ceramic look. Okay. So all you're doing is spreading it around. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the way I... You don't use a brush, you use your gloves. I use my fingers, and that's the way I used to do my jewelry. It's very easy. Ooh, this one's dark on, in the back. And once you've got these uh, all dried up and everything, you can uh, use a Sharpie and um, personalize them. That's what I used to do at uh, craft fairs. Okay, there's another one. And see, there's nothing scary about this. Don't let this resin intimidate you, friends. Could you use a brush? Yeah, you can use a brush, whatever works for you. But to me, this is so much faster yeah. just, to, just to do this. And I seal it completely. See, you can already tell how shiny it looks. Okay, I'm going to put it right there. Oh. I do the same thing with the little oh. tiles. Mm, okay. And after it dries, I cut the little cork to fit in the back. These are going to make a cute gift. There's one. 
<clears throat> when you lay them down, you have to be sure that it's on wax paper. It's on wax paper. Otherwise, it'll stick to it. I mean, you'll ruin it. All right. See, friends, there's nothing scary about this. Using the resin. Be sure you don't do it inside the house. No, I wouldn't recommend you doing it inside the house. I, I know a lot of crafters do because... No, uh, I wouldn't do it because it's, it's very... Friends, before I forget, let me remind you that I will be on Facebook uh, Alive on Saturday with Faker's Gonna Bake Halloween event. We're all gonna be dressed up. Everybody's gonna be um, doing a Halloween craft. I'm gonna be on at, what time, six or seven? I can't mm. remember, I, th I think it's seven uh, Central Standard Time. I'll, I'll repost it on my Facebook group page. But you have to join me, friends. It's gonna be so much fun. I haven't decided what costume to wear yet, but. My Hanito recommended one, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm not wearing one. <laughs> You're not. Oh, come on. I'm not the costume kind of guy. Oh, yes, you are. You do it for us at Halloween. Oh, that's Halloween. Oh, well, this is a Halloween event. Okay. It's I'll gonna be my... so much fun. Friends, also, I still have all of you that uh, are on my prayer list. If there's anyone else that I need to add, Please send me a message or let me know. Email me. Um, I haven't forgotten you. All right, and now here comes the fun part. Taking the gloves off. And then I just throw this bag away, throw everything away. And I just put it in the garage where it's nice and hot. See this, I was gonna try this instead of gluing them down. Instead of gluing them down, I was gonna see. Rosa says I need to wear one of your aprons. Oh, yeah. yeah, you do. Amy's gonna make you one. Is Amy on? Is Amy Timmers on? Could be. I don't know, you got too many people. I don't know, can't keep up with them. Well, why not? When do you add the hooks? I'm going to do it right now. I've never done it like this, but I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I, thing is, I need to move this out of the way. That's all right, because I can peel that off. Let's see how this works. Instead of having to use the E6000, I think that'll work just fine. So is this just staying on with the resin? Mm hmm maybe. We'll see. All right, friends, that's it. Thanks for joining me tonight. I appreciate you so much. And friends, remember, always follow your dreams. Believe in yourself. You can do it. Love you, friends. See you next week or Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Join me on Facebook.